Hello and I hope you're doing well. On this video we're gonna replace the light bulb that's on the 2007 Lexus RX 350 and this might work on a couple of other Toyotas and other years and this is an HID light bulb and here is the bulb this is what it looks like it's a xenon standard bulb and this one is from Philips the part number is D2S we are going to change the passenger side and the first thing that we have to do is take this cover off and this cover is just held by these that you can take off this one you pop up the top and if you have the correct tool, it will probably be a lot easier. That's what it looks like. And when you push it in, it expands. So you have this one, this one, that one, and this one. Take them off. And now you can take this part off. And now we have access back here. You'll find the connection that's right here. And the light bulb is behind this. So first, let's unplug it. That This plug is right here. And to take it off, you have to push down here and pull it at the same time. And now you have access to that. This part, all you have to do is turn it counterclockwise so you are unscrewing the part and taking it off so holding it from here and I don't have to twist this thing very far it's just a little bit so once it's tilted then you can go ahead and separate this from the rest And I was able to push it that way, so it gives me enough space to have access to the plug that holds the light bulb. There it is. It's kind of blurry, but it's right there. And all we have to do is also turn this counterclockwise just a little bit so you can pull it out of its place and as you can see it says lock that way so unlock is the opposite way so we're gonna do that and now we can see the light bulb right there now looking at it closer you can see on both sides it has like a butterfly clip that you have to push inward or towards each other and unhook from that piece of metal that's holding it back or holding it onto its place on the bottom you can see it's a hinge and on the top I can see one side better than the other but there are two sides and all you have to do is push it against each other or one first and then the other and unhook it from from its place and that's what it's gonna look like when you take off the butterfly thing that's holding it it's not gonna fall it's just gonna stay there and it's just hooked right there on those two 
metal things on top so once you loosen that part then you can go ahead and pull the light bulb out and this is what it looks like and make sure that you don't touch the glass on the new one because there's a little bit of oil on our hands and you don't want to touch that at all and the part number on this one is also a Philips and it's a D2S and there is a right and wrong way to put this if you didn't notice which way it's going you'll figure it out because it won't go in there unless this little groove and this little groove get into place into the socket so if you put it in it doesn't go in there try to turn it until it fits right or just look at the socket and just put it right in the way that this one goes is this way these two things that are on the sides go side to side and if I'm looking at it this way this is the way it goes in the socket with these two grooves on top and on the right I have the old one and on the left I have the new one and make sure that you put it the right way so it, it's gonna push the light bulb in and it's gonna stay there and now we can put the stuff back the way we took it off first we have to put that part and then screw it on there clockwise just like it says on the part it says lock and now it's locked and then we gotta put the other piece that's over there it goes like that and then you can go ahead and lock it into place to put it back make sure that you push in the whole area so from top to bottom push it in and then screw it onto place if you don't push it all the way in it's not gonna make a great seal so push it towards the front of the vehicle while you will screw it onto place then push that in clicked into place and that's it now you can go ahead and turn on your headlight and that should be it i hope this video helps you in any way thank you for watching and enjoy